Hello there, my name is Paul Duck, and welcome to a video in which I'll be showing you how to use the AIM-7 Sparrow uh, on the F-15C in DCS World. The AIM-7 is a uh, medium range uh, semi-active radar homing missile, which means it requires radar elimination from your aircraft in order to see its target, unlike the uh, AIM-120C or B AMRAAM where it has its own radar emitter. The Sparrow can't find targets on its own. So what we're going to do first is we're going to turn on our radar by pressing I on the keyboard. And then we have a target out there. These are going to be non-maneuvering targets. So we're going to slew our radar using uh, the keys that you have bound. These are the keys just to the left of uh, right shift on your keyboard. We're going to move up to slew over our target and lock. Which you can do by pressing enter, or I have a bind on my uh, keyboard for it. Let's press 2, and we're actually going to have to reacquire. There we go. And if we zoom in here, in that box is our target. We are within range. The upper line, which are little carrot with the numbers, has just passed, is uh, the maximum range against a non-maneuvering target. The line we are coming up to now, just passing there, is our range against a maneuvering target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire one missile And we have our range in the bottom right, our intercept time in the bottom left. 10 seconds to impact. 5 seconds, 4, 3, 2, 1, overdue. There we have an impact. The line that you see moving uh, on the left hand side of the circle is um, the angle off indicator which tells, tells you which way in relation to you your target is heading. So if we zoom back out and unlock that we have another target at a range of about 10 miles And how we're going to acquire this target is I'm going to briefly lock it to get uh, an indication of where it is. There we are. We have it visually. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to acquire it using the automatic acquisition mode, or radar bore sight, you could call it. So by pressing 4, you can then just slew your aircraft and point it at the target, and then you have a lock. And we are within range, 6.3 nautical miles we fired that at. Point 0.5 miles to go, impact. We're going to unlock the target by pressing uh, enter. Well, we're in foresight, so it automatically relocked it. There we go. And it's come out of radar foresight by pressing 2 again. And we're going to increase our radar range by pressing minus. And there we have another target which we're going to uh, fly towards. It's at nearly 40 miles, so I'm going to push up the power. I believe I have it visual now. Yep, I have the target visual. So what we're going to use is what's called radar flood mode. The aircraft is at 20 nautical miles now. By pressing 6 on your keyboard, you're in flood mode. And you have a relatively narrow beam. 
Now, if he had a radar warning receiver, he would be getting a uh, alert that he's being locked, but he's not actually being locked. What flood mode does is it saturates a beam in front of the aircraft with radar energy and the seeker or the radar receiver in the missile will see the energy that's reflected off of the target and it will home towards that. So we are within range I believe. My aircraft has picked up that there is a target out there at 13 nautical miles, 12 seconds away. So I'm going to fire one missile in the flood. Miss missile away. Missile is tracking. Unfortunately, it is important that you keep the aircraft there we go within the circle on your screen or on your HUD to be locked. So I haven't locked it, but I'm going to fire again. And the missile should track. There we go. Another missile impact. So let's pull back up and return to base. And now you should be able to, at least in a rudimentary sense, employ the AIM-7 Sparrow in air-to-air -air combat. Of course, if you want to look further into how this works and further refine your skills with the AIM-7 Sparrow, I highly suggest that you read the uh, flight manual which will inform you on how to do that. So let's just shut down here and while I do that I will thank you for watching and uh, hopefully this video was helpful and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!